those who wish to learn something new. Something new that will transform you and your life completely. Something that will enhance your skills. Well, I too wanted to enhance my Python skills, but I just couldn't afford it. So I found a way to get all of it for free. And today I'm going to share that trick with you. So stay on till the end. Before starting off, I'd like to tell you all that all the links and the codes that are mentioned in this video would be available to you on Trainiac.in. The link to the website would be in the description box below. So let's go to Chrome and the first thing, the most important thing for this project and all the projects is that you have to have Python installed on your laptop. And uh, I know it's available on Microsoft Store too, but I suggest you to download it through the official website of Python. So you download it from here and you run the exe file and Python will be set up on your laptop. I won't be doing so because I already have Python installed, so I don't need to do so. But uh, you'll need to install Python for any project. Then oh, once you have Python, once you have installed Python, go to github.com slash. Now, uh, the reason I used GitHub, GitHub in this project as well as the last project is because GitHub is like an inventory, an online inventory where people can uh, upload their code and it can be available for public usage. Like for now, I've uploaded this uh, Udemy course enroller code to github and you all can use it so uh download the zip file uh, and you must be able to see this you extract this to whatever location you want i'm extracting it to desktop here it is now what you do the first step is ignore all these files go to this file uh, you'll see that two requirements one is the python file one is the text document so you click on the python file open it and this must open now what this will do is install all the requirements as you can see it is installing all the requirements one by one and done the window should close by itself open by itself once you open this through python so once you're done with this i'll go to sample settings open it with notepad and you'd be able to see this now over here add your email address example at the gmail.com add your password whatever your password is leave the zip code as it is unless Unless you are from US or UK, you have to add your zip code. But in other countries, zip code isn't necessary for courses. So the next thing you will see is languages. Let's say you want to learn in English. You add English and let's say you want to learn in Spanish too. Then you add Spanish and whatsoever. So I don't want to specify languages for now. Um, now next will be categories. So let's say you want to learn programming languages. So you can add programming languages like how it is shown in the example. So you can write programming languages. If you want to be more specific, you can write Python. You want data handling, you can write it like this. So the examples are given on the right hand side after the hash. You can read these to understand. And once you have added your email, your password and whatever you want, save as and uh, settings dot y a m l now it is important to leave this as settings only don't change it to anything else no sample nothing it has to be settings dot y a m l and save it all right once you're done with that the next step would be to run the cmd file so double click on this and um, you'd get this error where it says that window protected your PC. 
uh you don't have to worry it's not a virus it's not a threat to your pc uh it's just a way of windows stopping a cmd file from running since you are installing this straight from github and you're not making the cmd file windows thinks that it's a threat so ignore that i'm telling you it has no threat go to more info and click on run anyways now the cmd windows opens and you can see the code here now the magic begins so now the code is actually running everything the browser is open by its own you saw i didn't take my cursor to the chrome logo and if you're met by this please verify you're a human you can see here that chrome is being controlled by automated test software so the browser got opened by itself and you know that that it was opened because you run that command so just verify for its sake just make it happy make it think you're not a robot but but actually it's the robot doing everything just fulfill its desires and Now once verified, you'd come on this, open CMD and hit enter. Now in the background, it will get signed in. You can see it's signed in, Kanesh Sharma, signed in and it will start looking for your courses in no time. Here, it'll sign up. You can see. 6400 and you are getting it for free you are enrolled now the code will continuously keep looking courses for you and signing up for the courses be it 1000 be it a course of 6000 be it a course of 8000 it will sign up or sign you up for all of them for free and this will just continuously happen All right now, so if you're satisfied with the amount of courses that you have signed up for, that you have enrolled up for, open CMD and hit control C and you'll see that the browser gets closed and close the CMD. If you don't do this, it will continuously keep running and enrolling you for God knows how many courses. So as you can see the proof that I have actually enrolled for many courses and you can see that these are my courses. All of these I got signed up for all of these bit 1000, 6000, 8000 I got signed up for 90 courses all for free. So that's all. This is how you get enrolled in the courses of your choice all for free on Udemy. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes and welcome new viewers on board. In the last video, I set a target that we failed to reach and that is why I could not do the Zoom or Google Meets bot. But if you're new to this channel and you still haven't watched the last video, make sure to check the last video by clicking here. It's Kanish signing off. Thank you.